Welcome to A Little Box of Paints. My name's Sophie and I'm going to be showing you a simple art activity you can do at home with your kids and your family. Um, it's a great way to be a little creative. Also use up maybe some um, older fruit that you have that might be close to going off and you're not really sure when you're gonna get a chance to eat it. Um, yeah. It's a pretty simple activity. Um, if you had a chance to do one of my previous tutorials with the toilet paper roll printmaking, this is kind of along those lines. That seemed to be a popular tutorial. So I was thinking of a way to continue on with the printmaking and stamping that little kids like so much. Um, unfortunately, I still don't have really fancy colored paint. I only have a little bit and I'm actually saving it for my next tutorial. So once again, I'm gonna be using some pretty neutral colors but I encourage you to use whatever colors you want. Um, in fact, a lot of the pieces uh, that have been submitted by viewers like you um, show beautiful color choices. So keep that up. Um, I'm gonna unfortunately have to stick to my neutrals. Secretly, I love them. So let's get started. This is super easy, won't take very long um, for me to show you how to do this, and then hopefully you have, um, you can have some fun with your family at home creating this, um, this, this work of art. We're gonna be doing printmaking with old fruit. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the fruit and how to get it to a point where you can easily use it as a tool for your art. And uh, yeah, then we'll get started. So the materials you're going to need, of course, will be um, some paper. I'm using plain white paper, but if you have colored paper at home, this would be a cool way to experiment with printing on colored paper. I've got three paint colors to choose from, black, gold, and white. Hopefully you can come up with some more bright colors. Um, the paint I'm using is acrylic paint, but any type of craft paint or finger paint, tempera paint, whatever should be fine, as long as it's not like a watercolor paint. You don't want a paint that relies on too much water, um, otherwise things can get a little runny. So your paint should be able to kind of sit on its own in a tray and be used to transfer um, from the tray to your paper using a tool, in this case, a piece of fruit. Um, I'm also going to actually tape down my corners with a little bit of tape just to keep things in place. I like to do this often, usually with watercolor paint um, paintings, but I think in this case it would be a good idea too, um, especially if you're using um, big pieces of paper, little ones, when they start to stamp, it can kind of move all over. So you might want to tape that down. I'm protecting my table with my cutting mat. You're probably going to want to use a lot of newspaper. Okay. Um, if you haven't seen the previous tutorial with the paper to or the toilet paper roll stamping, you should check that out. Um, it seemed to be a pretty big hit. Um, so yeah, that might be an option too if you're just uh, if this is one of the first times you're watching a tutorial with me. But let's get started. So the fruit. Um, I've got all my art materials, but now we're going to use the materials that we can find around our house, right? Which is kind of the whole point of this um, of a little box of paints is to help you find ways to do some art at home with what you may already have. Um, I buy a lot of fruit and sometimes I don't get a chance to finish all that fruit in time. So what I usually do is I cut it up into small slices and freeze it. Um, so that it's almost like a nice way to add um, some cold fruit to some water or a cocktail, Diet Coke, whatever. Um, but in this case, what I decided to do was I took fruit and I sliced it and left it in my fridge. Now this is important. If you leave it in your fridge, it will dry out, which is what you want. If you don't dry it out and if you just cut your fruit and start stamping, you're gonna get fruit juice everywhere. If you're okay with that, that's great. If you're not and you want a tool that's gonna to be a little harder, okay, like there's no juice really coming off on my hand, um, I suggest putting them in the fridge. These have been in my fridge for like a week, okay? Um, I actually used half of a lemon where I needed the lemon for the lemon zest um, and half the lemon for another, uh, for a, I was baking, um, trying to bake. And so then I thought this would be a good way to reuse this lemon anyway. So it's missing its outside skin. This is an orange that was sitting around for a while, didn't last that long, unfortunately, and I just cut it in half, and then I had a bit of another leftover lemon, um, probably from a cocktail or something. So these are the tools I'm gonna be using. They are all citrus, limes work well too. Um, some fruit might not work as well as others, that's for you to experiment with. Another thing that works pretty good for stamping is potatoes. And you can carve, um, depending on how adept you are, you can carve kind of shapes and designs into the potatoes if you'd like. I'm keeping it simple and I'm using fruit because I wanna have the design from the actual fruit itself, okay? So um, we're gonna get started. Like I said, this is pretty simple. Your kids can just go to town, um, maybe talk to them a little bit about colors and how colors mix together. 
I'm going to actually start with some gold and I'm gonna take my lemon and I'm going to hold on to it and just bought it into the gold paint and start stamping and we'll see how it goes. Um, so I'm gonna do that. Da, da, da. Spread it around the tray a little bit. Double check, oh, that's a lot. Eh, it'll come off. And I'm just gonna start stamping. Cool. Now as I stamp, I'll get less and less paint. It's okay to go off the page a little bit. In fact, your kids probably will. And maybe one more right here. All right, now what I could do is I could keep stamping with my orange here. Um, I'm gonna actually take a little bit of white and I'm gonna go over some of these prints with a little bit of white. So it's very similar to the paper towel roll activity. This one, you just wanna make sure your kids are pressing hard enough to actually transfer some of that design. Okay, now I'm gonna try a new one. I'm gonna take one of my um, lemon or orange slices here. Okay, and same thing, um, but I'm gonna actually start with the black. We'll see. I don't usually do this with black. That's not really a color you think about when it comes to oranges. But we'll see how that works. Okay, this looks pretty cool. Sometimes your first stamp is a little too dark, but that's because you're getting a lot of the paint off. If you wanna avoid that, and if you wanna see a little bit more of the texture of the fruit, um, you could always go in and have a piece of like scrap paper beside you where you do your first stamp, okay? Oh, I'm getting a little juice. Thought I dried it out, apparently not. Yeah, this is all right. So you can imagine mine, of course, is black and gold and a white, but you could think a little bit about, um, I'm gonna maybe go back to this uh, half lemon here and add a little bit of black. Um, you could think a little bit about how, which colors you wanna use, right? And imagine, okay, do you wanna actually have yellow lemons or are you gonna jazz it up a little bit, right? With something else. Using this half lemon to get a half and half sort of design here over top of the large lemon that I already did. Some of them are half, some of them are full. I would really love to see what this looks like with bright colors. Oh well, it's my own fault. You know, your kids could even use this fruit to make other types of designs too. You could turn them into different things, okay? And yeah, there's that. You wanna put it somewhere to dry. Mine got a little juicy, not too bad. And there we go. A little bit of an abstract fruit artwork. So as you can see, pretty simple. Um, like I said, just maybe let your fruit dry out in the fridge for a few days first, okay? If you, they do get a little, little bit of juice on the art, it's not gonna hurt anything. I got a little bit on mine. Um, but yeah, like I also said before, sorry, I tend to repeat myself sometimes. Um, try and use older fruit, right? Fruit that's maybe gonna be turning in a little bit. Um, you can experiment with different types of fruit. If you do do this project, I would love to see it. Um, kudos to everyone who's been sharing all their awesome work with me. I've really, really enjoyed seeing it and seeing your kids have fun with these projects at home with you. Um, so yeah, share the pictures with me and I'll be able to post them. Of course, videos are posted on YouTube at A Little Box of Paints and there is a Facebook page, A Little Box of Paints, and I'm on Instagram too as A Little Box of Paints. So if you end up doing this project, let me know. Have a super awesome week and I will see you soon.